Hey, what's up guys? Uh, so today I'm going to show you the quick and easy way to check, check fuses. So you're going to want to get yourself uh, a test light right here. And then uh, put the cable on the negative pulse of the battery. So if we have power and we have ground, we should have light on the test light. Just test to make sure the test light's working right there. So we got a light that comes on when we touch it to positive. Now if we go to our fuses, um, I got the key on right now. So this method is gonna be able to check fuses that has this little spot right there. That's a break, uh, an opening in the plastic so you can access the metal. So you can check for power. So basically what we're doing is we're checking for power on both sides of the fuse. And if the if there's power on the circuit, you should have a light. So we got so we'll go to the next side of the fuse. We got power. We got power on both sides, so that fuse is uh, more than likely good. Um, now it is possible that the fuse cannot handle the load of the circuit but still conducts electricity but um, but more times than not just just checking it like this is uh will lead you in the right direction when you're trying to diagnose something now for a bad fuse you're gonna have power on one side and then nothing on the other. And that would be an indication of a bad fuse. So, and then if you don't have any light either, uh, it means the circuit doesn't have power. So, the fact that we have power on both sides of the fuse means that these uh, fuses are good. I mean, they they have power on both sides. So, and then um, there's different types of fuses, like this style fuse. You can look in there and see if there's a break. Otherwise, the best way to check a, fu a this style fuse would be to pull it out and then ohm out uh ohm out the fuse with the multimeter all right hope this helped guys uh let me know what you think thanks for watching